Hello and welcome to the August edition of Beijing News. We hope that you're having a great summer and that you're managing to stay cool during these warmer weather spells. Since we last spoke to you, we had a fantastic end of season session in Hintertux. We had over 120 students on 18 different courses at the end of the season. After a couple of years of limited travel and not very many big group gatherings, it was really nice to see lots of members in resort again. We also use Hintertux as an opportunity to update some of our video content, so you'll be seeing more things being released over the next few months. Our online shop is now back up and running. We're working with a third party company who deal with the storage and postage of our stock. They look after our certificates, licenses and badges and we have now caught up on the backlog. We'll be restocking our online shop with some new products soon. We're running some free intro to Basie sessions this summer in the UK. These are designed for potential instructors to get a taste of what it's like to be on a Basie course and to learn and develop the skills as an instructor. If you know of anybody who is interested please send them over to our website to book a session. We're scheduling and running more UK Level 2 courses this summer. You may remember we introduced this course last year. The UK Level 2 gives members the chance to split up the Level 2 course into two sections, meaning they can complete the first half of the course in the UK at a venue near them, and then complete the second half out in the Alps at their own convenience. This should allow members to take less time off work because they won't have to take the full two week stint off. They can do the first week in the UK and the second week abroad. And we can also run the UK Level 2 over weekends in the, in the UK, so you wouldn't have to necessarily even take a week off, you could fit it in around other things. Hopefully this will also help members to keep the cost down as they won't have to pay for international travel or accommodation while attending the UK Level 2. We've now moved to a new child protection course provider, but are continuing to cover the cost of this for those attending their first Level 1 course. This course can be done in the comfort of your own home and only takes a couple of hours. I'd like to give a bit of advance warning about our next members update and Q&A with the board. It's on Thursday the 25th of August at 6pm UK time via Microsoft Teams. You'll have myself, your interim CEO, Jim Lister, our chair, Joe Miller, our Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Director, and Mike Agata, our Finance Director. We'll be talking through a number of things, but specifically our progress through our change journey and what's next, our ongoing financial rebuild and improved performance, and Bayesley's strategic goals for the next three years and how we've included the output of our members' working groups in this. There'll be opportunity for questions as ever, so please join us on the 25th of August at 6pm and we look forward to seeing you. We have recently completed a trainer selection. We had a huge number of applicants and the successful new trainers will be delivering courses next winter. They're about to undergo a thorough onboarding process and we look forward to welcoming them into the training body. A big well done to all our new ski trainers and welcome on board to Ash Morton, Sega Fairweather, Marco Furio, Ailey McLeod, Davide Mazina, Kim Bruce, Steve Jones, Misha Vikush, Alistair Johnson, Phoebe Griffiths, Sam Goodlass, Kate Angus, Tom Peake, Tori Redmond, Murray White, Emily Pocock, George Walton, Terry Walker, Dave T, Sam Pickup and James Lockerbie. Looking forward to working with you all. For the growth disciplines, we are really excited to welcome on board Jazz Taylor, who is our brand new Telemark trainer. We also have two cross-discipline trainers, Dave Crozier, who is now adaptive snowboard trainer and snowboard trainer, and Cami Gunn, who is now also a Telemark trainer as well as a ski trainer. Welcome aboard, team. Yeah, we'd like to welcome Craig Nelder, Malcolm Moore, Rob Lane, Chris Rowley, and James Blogg to the Basie Snowboard Trainers team. Looking forward to working alongside them soon, and they'll be out there delivering courses this winter. We have some trainers that have decided now to retire on the ski side. We bid farewell to Bex Malthouse, Steve Ricketts and Buster Cheatham. On the snowboard side, we say cheerio to Louis Sonvico and will do to Simon Cook at the end of the year. We wish them all the very best and hopefully we'll see them on the slopes again soon. Daisy will be attending the Interski Congress in March 2023. The event will be held in Levy, Finland. I'm delighted to announce that the Interski team for 2023 is as follows. Lynn Mill will be part of the ski demonstration team. Cami Gunn will be part of the ski demonstration team and Telemark representative. 
Hannah Bryans will be part of the ski demonstration team. Simon Edwards will be part of the ski demonstration team. Sega Fairweather will be part of the ski demonstration team. Giles Lewis will be part of the ski demonstration team. Jazz Taylor will be part of the ski demonstration team and Telemark representative. Tom Waddington will be part of the ski demonstration team. Charlie Lane will be the adaptive ski representative. Keith Jens will be the cross country representative. Kevin Edwards will be part of the snowboard demonstration team. And Renelle Mortimer will be part of the snowboard demonstration team and the adaptive snowboard representative. Hi everyone, time for a bit of an international update. I want to tell you the latest about our work with France and with Switzerland. Since Brexit, we've been working hard behind the scenes on bilateral agreements for qualification recognition in several countries because, as we know, mutual recognition of professional qualifications was left out of the trade and cooperation agreement between the UK and the EU. Now, we know there are a number of members, particularly those who are in the middle of completing the Level 4 ISTD and those who have finished the Level 4 ISTD, who'd like to know what's happening with regards to qualification recognition in France. So here's where we're at. We've had several online meetings with the French since December 2020 and made some progress. You may remember that Jazz Bruce wrote to members in January this year with an update on that progress. However, several points still needed further clarification to ensure that we have a robust agreement which is in the interests of Bayesley members in the future. With this in mind, Jim Lister, myself and Jazz Bruce attended a face-to-face -face summit with the French authorities last month to discuss the agreement and the equivalence process. Following that meeting, we've gone back to the French with a revised proposal and we're now waiting on a response, which we expect to receive in September. All of us at Bayesley understand this frustrating situation that our members are in, and we are doing our best to push things along whilst also ensuring that we have an agreement that works for Bayesley. May I ask you to be patient a little while longer as this will still take a few more months to finalise. We do want to be as transparent as possible. However, we will not be sharing the exact details nor any specific negotiating points as we don't want to put our draft agreement at risk. Furthermore, some of the details may change in the coming months, and so we don't really want to generate any false expectations. But we are all optimistic that every party involved in this wants an agreement to be signed and we will communicate the detail to you all when we have an agreement officially signed. We've also been busy liaising with Switzerland and this coming November, myself, Jazz Bruce and again Jim Lister will be holding a similar face-to-face -face summit with a Swiss delegation with the goal of jointly constructing a formal qualification recognition agreement. The current agreement is verbal, loose, and occasionally results in people having different outcomes. So we want to create a process that is formally agreed, smooths the process through for everybody and makes it consistent. Now, as with all agreements, we will share them when they are finished. So I look forward to sharing the information with you as soon as I can. We've been looking at how we can improve the quality of the courses that we deliver to members. In the last year, we launched the Bayesley Study Module, which allows members to complete lots of the information that they used to receive in the off-snow lectures, but in a modular approach where they can learn at their own pace. It's available via web browsers, but also via the Bayesley Study app, and all of the information is supported by videos, quizzes, and imagery to make it easier for you to retain the information. We've also reduced the capacity on some of our courses to allow for a better ratio of trainers to students. So the level one and level two courses will now have a maximum capacity of eight instead of 10. And the level three and four teaching courses will have a maximum capacity of six instead of eight. This should mean that every member booked onto a Bayesley course will have more trainer dedicated time to them and it should improve the quality of the courses that we deliver. That's it for this month. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.